And so I'm trying to recreate this just on this larger canvas. Okay, we'll get going. I hope you all had a chance to read that. I will take a photograph of it and keep it on my art page for you. Just pop that over there. And so, yeah, I'm going to do this on a 91.4 centimetre by 45.7, where they get those measurements from. I'm not sure, but. Okay, what I'm going to do is coat around the edges in this blue. This will be mostly blues, teals, and I'm going to throw in some red and purple. Be a bit of everything again, but um, going, going to try and get that look of the painting that I just showed you. So this was all pre-mixed paint that I did last night. Uh, this blue is uh, a custom blue that I do it was just the um, it was actually cobalt cobalt and just added a little bit of um, a little bit of black to send it a bit darker and actually a little bit of red not green this time so um, it, it becomes more of a purpley blue instead of um, greeny blue so I'm just gonna use my hands I've started doing this now I only uh, did it before for the videos because it was quicker, but it actually seems to um, Work a lot better and because I love hands-on I quite enjoy it It's all part of the therapy So I'm doing down the sides of my canvas just my hands Getting down and dirty It's a Saturday morning here in Australia and um, it's a rainy all morning again in Queensland. We've had quite a bit of rain so I know the farmers really needed it but it's been like weeks and weeks now so I've actually um, had enough. I want to see some sun, especially in winter time. It's our winter time, but the um, still in t-shirt and shorts, so it's not too bad. Our weather, it's just gorgeous, really. Okay, that's done. Okay, my first colour will be, let me see, I think I'll go, this was the, uh, these are all global paints today as written in my intro. Um, this is Global Turquoise, so I'm not going to, I mixed up these kind of big circus looking cups last night. Um, I won't use all this paint on this particular one because I want to do two this size um, to go together. So of sim similar colours. So. Okay. No, this one was the turquoise again, but I've just added white to it to take it right down to a much lighter. Always like to have a play with my paints and make custom paint colours. So it's hard when people ask you what colour is that because I often make them up myself, like just out of the paints I buy, but I just like adding, taking away and Okay, I'm not going to try and overload this canvas up with too much paint, she says. Okay, this is some um, global wattle. Um, I did a little tester to see what the global wattle and 
cool yellow from Global and cool yellow from Byron paints. And to me, they look very, very similar. So I'm not sure, um, yeah. It's supposed to be, um, you know, a special color from Global, but I'm, I'm not sure that it's um, any different than the cool yellow. So I'm gonna... As I said, I've had it, um, always put just between two and four drops. Some, some cups I'll just put two drops of silicon. Other cups I'll put four, but it doesn't matter how big the cup, I don't like going more than four drops. Just, it's just my way of doing it. And it, it's nearly the same every time, but at different results. And I do feel upset for people that say, I've tried everything that you're doing and it's not turning out the same as yours. I'm not sure why. We may have like I mix mine, as I said before, with my um, Karoi Mountain water, which is just pure water with nothing added. It's uh, filled, you know, just uh, rainwater basically. Okay, this was, okay. It was green light from Global, but I have mixed it. I can't even remember what I mixed it with. See, this is where I'm bad. And Julie Cutts is very good because she's meticulous and she weighs and writes everything down. And so she gets consistency. Whereas I'm a bit more, I, I just don't do it. And if it doesn't work out the same and so be it, then it's definitely unique. It's not the same every time, but that's just my way. And I know lots of people like consistency. Do not measure and I do not weigh. It's only my green eye measurement. Obviously that's my eyes. <laughs> so you might think this is a weird old color to throw in, but we're going to give it a go and I'm sure it will work out fine. Okay, getting there with the colors. I need to add some bright colors in there now. Just get rid of this. Okay, I'm gonna throw some red. This was the warm red from Global. Didn't add or take away anything from that, so. I might give this a tilt before I add any more paint to it. Seem to always make the mistake of adding too much paint. So this being a larger canvas, I will just pull back a bit, tilt off gently. Just take it slow. Sorry if the paintings come out of the frame. This is a large canvas probably to be doing a video, showing a video, but it helps if anyone is attempting a large canvas for the first time, I suppose, to just show how it can be done. Just always just take it slow. No hurry. That's really weird feeling standing here. It feels like one's coming up and one's going down. It must be the hev heavier paint is sticking where it is the runnier paint's moving down the canvas. Gives you one of those really weird feelings like when you're in a car and it starts to, the car beside you um, starts to move and you're still stationary and you get that feeling that, oh my God, moving. Okay, this is a bit difficult. It's a lot more difficult with a larger canvas trying to control the pour you know that you're trying to keep the paint from um, gathering at one particular end or yeah it's a lot more difficult or probably more so when I'm filming trying to keep control of it a little bit more
Okay, I'll go up the other end and start tilting back this way again. I hope this is... <laughs> Sorry if it's completely out the frame, I'll just bear with me. Please. Okay. This is moving very slowly today. It's probably a cooler day and it's paints um, thickened a little bit. Okay, I might go back slightly, take the weight of the paint back. I'm just gonna I'll run my fingers underneath and then any bits that are not covered I use the paint as well from the what's come off so you can just dab it onto the sides or anywhere that you feel you want a bit more paint down the sides but because I went over it with that blue first it's covered all the sides so it's not so important you have got some paint on it. Okay. I'm going to just add some purple to this mix. Sounds disgusting, but I'm going to try it. These cups that I got on special. <laughs> I can see why, because now they've got the fluid in them, the liquid, they're very spongy, going soft, so I'm not going to be able to keep painting these for very long. Okay, okay, okay. This was just white. With uh, and I added some gold, metallic gold, to it just to take it so it wasn't so bright white. And I'll just flick this through it. The purple was um, global purple, but I did add the um, warm red in it to send it more crimson looking, just sends it nice deeper. Like it, when it dries, it's really lovely. Okay, I'm going to leave it there with those. As always, I've probably put way too much paint on it, but we'll see how it comes out anyway. What I'm going to do now is I'm doing it my normal way because I just find it's a very successful way. I'm putting my, this is a global deep sea. It's, it's like a, it's like a purpley blue. So I'll put this through the center. Not too much of it. Because this is not a very wide painting. Like it's only the 45 centimeters wide so I use my trusty plastic file dividers and set about going down just leaving about a centimeter at the very end drawing it back towards you pretty amazing how much just for putting that simple line of the navy down the center how much um, it draws over the top of the rest of the paint. I'm just doing it gently so you're actually just using it to swipe right over. I've got heaps of paint on this. As you can see it's already starting to go crazy cells without me even getting the uh, butane torch. It's, it's funny because every batch of makeup you know, sometimes the cells don't come up until I torch, and then other times they come like this. Now it's coming crazy cells. So just wiping your plastic folded divider 
in between each one. Oh my goodness, they're just coming up crazy. I probably don't even really need to torch this one. wiping off the paints in between each you see you think oh my god all those crazy colors she's put on there but sometimes they just sometimes they you know I definitely have failures and they don't I think oh my gosh what have I done but you know what you, you give it a go and I just go by eye thinking I think this will turn I think these colors will look good and for whatever reason I've been very lucky with my colours turning I seem to have a good eye with colour so maybe that's because I've come from a family of, of painting decorators Englishmen painter and decorators that have been a master of their craft all of their work in life from my brothers Paul and David still in the UK but retired now but been master craftsman in painting and decorating all of their lives done some really ornate beautiful work on old buildings so yeah there must be probably a something in the family about color and paint that's got us all in okay wow they're just coming up crazy colors just coming up beautifully I will torch this in front of you now and I am going to uh, balloon kiss later but we'll do this part of the video and just torch it so I normally normally those cells haven't come up like that but I'm thinking now that if I add more water to the Elmer's glue that I'll get this the cells come up quicker when I leave the Elmer's glue, glue a little bit thicker I think then it, it makes a difference with how the cells come up but these are fine it's not coming like in my separate little clusters like I normally would do but still liking some um, that's the only thing I can think of is the difference in these cells because it's all global paint what I use going between global paint Byron paint I do buy Burroughs paint from uh, office works in Australia um, they're quite nice actually they, they feel the same consistency as global but they don't come in the nice big uh, one liter or four liter they're just in the tubes but that is completely celled cell mates it's gone saliciously crazy with cells so what I'll do is I'll you might be more than happy with that and that is quite lovely um, as it is but I will come back and I will balloon kiss it. So if you uh, like to see what it looks like when I balloon kiss it, uh, move on to the next video after this. But thank you very much for watching. Hope it's helped some of you and talk to you soon.